The thing with Apple's move yesterday is that it's kind of like a buy the rumor, sell the news. But, I don't know. Yet to be seen if there's a continuation today. I don't anticipate there will, but there very well could be. Uh, the meeting, the announcement that Apple's making is uh, sometime next week. So, okay, I kind of like this. Um, I like that we're having some some indecision here. Some some buying is happening here. And I, I want to jump in here and use this as my reference point. Um, we do, though, have the 90 MA to break. So this makes it a risky play. Um, but, and we are, let me see, this is the first bearish below that we're not breaking into. So we could try it. It's just kind of risky. Nope. See, we're coming down. Um, Disney here with a nice little flag. This should break above. If it doesn't, you know, that is not looking too good for what we're looking at with Disney. There we go. Boom. Maybe not. I don't know if it has a strength. Disney's up uh, half a percent. Apple's still kind of holding up here a little bit. Uh, Facebook as well. Disney's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, Disney. I'm going to turn this volume back on just because I like to see something. So Facebook testing that 9 EMA. Apple's still kind of holding up here. And you know what? I kind of want to try to get in on Apple. Truly. I'm going to try it. And um, we're going to use that reference point here. Um, so let's go in on two contracts. Oops. So we're filled on Apple. And so if we break below that wick, I'm going to jump out. But what we're looking at here is we're pretty oversold. Um, we have this crossover. It's about to happen. It looks like there's a nice um, area here in which the buyers are kind of stepping in. But it's also bearish flag looking, so we could easily break down below. If we do, we got to get a quick exit in um, because that will not be good for us very quickly. So now we see Apple's coming back up a little bit. It's good. We have to test that nine. Uh, we have to test that pre-market low area, though. That could be an easy rejection point as well as the 9 EMA. So currently we're up about 2% on it. And truly, we shouldn't even be looking at, um, we shouldn't really even be looking at the p &L. It's almost irrelevant because we need to trade off the candles. So let's look at the candles. So, like I said, we have to test this area. Also have to test the 9 EMA. Um, and it's looking okay so far. It's coming up. Let's pull open our indicators. We're getting a little crossover here. Um, nice yellow candle coming in, coming out of this, uh, over, oversold area. Um, now the instance in which we are looking at P and L is that we do have a target of, you know, 5%, 5 to 10% is our, is our money right there. That's easy scalps. That's what the name of the game is. We're not trying to get rich off of one move. Um, so that's not where we want the habit to be. We are 45 seconds in, or sorry, 45 minutes into the market going on 46. So this is a nice candle for Apple. But we're having some resistance here. Let's see how we react with this uh, pre-market low that we're trying to overtake. Nicely done so far, but we're only, uh, you know, a couple seconds into this minute. 
the next uh, area that we're going to test here is VWAP. So I'm not liking how it's uh, kind of consolidating here with that 9 EMA. And by consolidating, I mean it's kind of not really wanting to press through. But we are holding this um, blue line here. So we're going to hold it for that blue line and let it do its thing. If it begins to break under that blue line, we're just going to cut it. We're at six. We're at about five point nine percent right here. But like I said, the the point here is not to be greedy with the call. We're not trying to get rich. We're trying to make some profits. Um, because of that rejection here. We're just going to keep watching. We're one minute into that one minute, uh, two minute candle. Still looks pretty okay. The buyers are doing this thing. If it's consolidating here, that's 100% fine as well. We just don't want to get to the point where it comes back down and we're trying to hold again with this level. No, a trailing stop um, visually is what we're doing. So we entered on this candle trailing stop or our stop was, you know, breaking these wicks. Now we're saying, okay, we're already in profit. We're not going to let it come back down here. Um, so here we're at 7%. We have about 15 seconds left in the minute. And we got five seconds. Let's see how Apple does with the VWAP test. Okay, so not looking too great here. We're still testing, we're holding that 9 EMA. Getting that crossover on the MACD, which is nice. Um, got the momentum coming into the buyer's favor. V WAP. All right, so we're at um, about 40 seconds into this two minute candle. Still testing at this VWAP. It's looking really nice. Um, on the five minute, it's testing VWAP. Yep, so still looking good. We had those nice wicks. <clears throat> Boom, Apple's looking really nice here. We're at 8.8%. So the idea here, staying nice, calm, and collected, watching the levels, watching the price action. Um, so we're not really wanting to overtake VWAP. We could bounce down here. We could bounce over here. I'm at 7%, so I think we're going to take that. Yep. Damn, I got kind of messed up with that. Um, I got kind of messed up with the order fill, but uh, we are out of the play. And we entered in on two. Hold on. So boom, we entered in on two, um, two contracts. Uh, yeah, right here, two contracts at 8:43. So we got in um, right here on this candle. We can actually pull up one minute if we want. I don't have one minute charts. Okay. Um, so we got in like around this candle. I think I called it out. Um, came up instantly because we were, we had a nice consolidation. It looked like it was doing well. And then we got out at, what was it, um, 8.49. So we got out in this candle here um, at the second part. So before it broke that blue line, which was our, our fail stop anyway. So it was a nice move. Uh, we got 50 bucks total from it, so 25.25. And I think it was about 5%, a 5% move is what it ended up being. Um, I had a... Uh, 7%, I had up to, I think, 8%. 
Um, I tried to get out at 7%, but the fill screen was kind of weird, um, so it didn't happen. <laughs> but um, let's recap here on what we were talking about might have happened and what actually did happen. So we were consolidating here said, okay, I think it's, uh, you know, all these wicks look pretty good. We're holding up this level. I think it could come up at least to test the nine and the VWAP, right? As well as the pre-market low. So we did come up, we tested pre-market low, we overcame it. Um, at then we had the nine EMA that we had to kind of deal with. Um, it held up really well, uh, came up to this candle here. We then had to test VWAP, it rejected VWAP. Uh, almost not really instantly it wasn't a hard reject but it did reject um, and at that point I was saying okay we're we're gonna probably test this bottom we're gonna have to consolidate um, and if it does that's fine but it broke below um, then it tested here now it's kind of testing these levels back here that we were looking at and it's trying to come back up but again now that we're down here Apple's making lower highs uh, it's consistent lows currently but it's, it's having to now again retake the 90 EMA, retake the pre-market lows, and retest the VWAP. So we made, um, you know, we made this move here, and that's it. Boom, we're out. Even, even though Apple is downtrending, we are still able to get in here, make a profit, and that is the goal. If we would have had some, you know, hasty target of, okay, well, I, I need to have like 10 to 20% or else, you know, it's not worth my time. No, that's, that's ridiculous. So we were in this trade for... Um, seven minutes right seven minutes 50 bucks uh seven minutes five percent right people don't make five percent on their you know return on investment for a year <laughs> right especially if you're trying to look for tens and 15s and 20s all the time so this was in my opinion a very good trade um i i, I don't know that i would have done anything different other than i guess executed the exit on my phone because i'm much more used to getting in and out of trades on mobile than i am on the desktop and the OS kind of, you know, messed me up, but I know how to do it next time. Um, so it is what it is, but hope that that helps guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise I will see you next time.